Hello everyone, hope you're well. On a Sunday afternoon, I was gonna do this video outside again like I did yesterday, but it is pretty windy, it's kind of blustery out there. I also have neighbors using power tools close by, so it would be a little crazy on the audio. So I'm inside, but I will try to do more outside stuff here since we're getting into spring, especially on the weekends or when I have a chance to do it during the day. So what I want to talk about is how to live your life, how to cope with such crazy times that we're going through right now. And uh, don't let this, you know, what's going on around the world everywhere, don't let this hold you back and, and cause undue stress, okay? Uh, we need to live our lives. We need to take care of yourself. You have to take care of you before you can take care of somebody else, right? So no doubt we are living through history uh, right now. There's no doubt about that. Um, the headlines are, are kind of scary. If you just focus on that all the time, you're going to be in a mess. Okay. I do enough of that myself. So, um, but the headlines are crazy. I mean, you got a pandemic still kind of up and down. I mean, you got wars and rumors of wars. Uh, I mean, we're on the brink of, we could be on the brink of WW3. Um, we got social and civil unrest. We've got political and financial crises going on here and there. Uh, housing market madness, natural disasters. Uh, the world seems to have just turned upside down on its ear all the way over. Uh, you know, we are in a bizarro kind of twilight zone for sure for the last two years. Um, good seems to be evil and evil is called good. There's no doubt about it. Um, that is the way uh, culture is trying to go right now. Uh, you've got uh, modern day bread lines, soup lines forming. Uh, I, I, I see it. I see it out when I'm out in the community. Um, it, there's a lot of people hurting for sure. Uh, you've got global government outreach, uh, overreach, outreach, overreach uh, out there to, to near dystopian levels uh, going on. You've got a supply chain that's still jacked up. Um, many say that we're still, you know, that we are going into a tribulation or we're, we're getting close to end times. Uh, Jesus is coming back. I mean, we know he is, but is he coming back in 2022? A lot of people believe that. A lot of people have done math and calculated from the time uh, Israel became a nation and when Jesus was born and they have these, these formulas and they say 2022 is the year. Um, I don't know if I go into that or not. I don't, I don't know if I buy into that at all. I, I, you know, we just don't know the day or the hour. Uh, we can look at the, at the signs for sure. Um, but we just don't know. We don't know. It may be tomorrow. It may be a year from now. Maybe two years from now or later. So it's best just to be ready, right? Um, but, you know, we got to take care of ourselves. We have to live our lives. Uh, you know, don't put off the vacation. I know a lot of you have uh, or haven't and haven't and have gone on with your lives. Um, we, this dog and I, uh, you know, we haven't really had a vacation in the last two going on three years now. Uh, it was so much going on. We just didn't want to stray too far from home for whatever reasons. But, you know, we were talking uh, the other uh, day and it's like, you know, we need to do, we need to just take the vacation, plan it and do it. Um, even if it's just for a few days, two days uh, to go down and look at the water, you know, go to the beach and look at the ocean for a minute. I mean, I, could, I would be happy just doing that. Uh, don't have to do anything special. Don't have to spend a lot of money. You know, um, but but we have to stop. We have to uh, not obsess uh, so much, you know, uh, take the vacation, take the day in the park, um, treat yourself, uh, hike, do that hike, do that bike ride. You know, as you're able, of course, just get outside if nothing else. You know, sometimes I like just to go over and sit. We have a sitting area in the back end of our backyard and just look at a bird, you know. Get away from it all. Um, do the picnic. Go out to eat. Uh, don't have to spend a lot of money doing these things. Um, take a day trip. You know, get with family and friends in person if you can. Uh, 
just get outdoors. Like I said, do some gardening. You know, uh, you don't even have to do a lot of work. Just get out there, you know. Um, smile at others. Be kind to others, you know. You might make somebody's day. It could be something really small, you know. Uh, get out in your community. Check on your neighbors, especially the vulnerable, the elderly. Um, you know, still, you know, we can do these things and still be vigilant, still be aware and alert of what's going on around us. You know, do the shopping trip, go to the concert, you know, let's not be afraid. Uh, but yes, we can still be, you know, have our, have our situational awareness about us and, and uh, be aware of who's around us and what's going on, but still uh, live our lives and go on, you know, like we did in what, 2018? before. So that is my advice. Um, you know, whatever works for you, for some folks is working out music, video games, just taking a walk. You know, um, I've got some good passages I want to share with you here. I think will help as well. Keeping the faith. We must keep our faith. Um, first one is Psalm Psalm 46, the first three verses says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling. He is, he's an ever-present God. Uh, we can call on him and uh, be comforted uh, from good times, you know, or the bad times or the stressful times. You know, we can we can always turn to him. Uh, and also Isaiah. This is Isaiah chapter 55, verse 8 and 9. And I, I go back to these, uh, these, especially these two, a lot. And, and before I read it, I know there are people who will say, you know, well, dog, why is there so much suffering? Uh, why is he allowing all this stuff to happen? Wars and, you know, tragedies and this and that. We just don't understand everything. We never will. We're just human. You know, uh, God sees the, the whole picture. We just see part of it. Uh, we're not capable uh, and these two verses uh, says, Isaiah 55, uh, verse 8 through 9 says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. So, you know, we are not going to understand. We It's okay to have questions. Uh, but... We can still keep the faith and not understand everything, you know, or get into these debates about details and, uh, you know, about scripture and just culture and all that. Um, you know, we, we won't always understand everything. Uh, and it's okay to have questions and really wonder about stuff. That's okay. <clears throat> we'll find out when we get there, when we get to heaven, right? Um, but there are mysteries. There are things that... Uh, that make us wonder what's going on, but uh, we keep the faith. Um, that is my message right now. Share your thoughts. What are you doing? What do you do to stay sane during these crazy times and, and, to, and to cope with all this stuff? Uh, are you taking vacations? What are you doing? What are you planning on doing? So please share. Take care out there. Do be aware. Be safe. God bless you. I will see you soon.